Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this Naked Urban Decay palette. I heard a lot of goods and bads, like anything, you know, um, on this palette. Mostly because of the shades. A lot of people say that this shade has already been out. Like, why would they even bother to come out with this shade? But just remember that every company, even though they have similar shades, the formula is different. But... Don't knock it until you try it. So, if you guys want to see how I achieved this look and what I got to say about this, just go ahead and keep on watching. So, the first shade I'm going to begin with is Soft. I'm going to use this as my transition color. These colors are so pretty. The pigmentation of these eyeshadow as you can tell it has a little bit of fallout i'm just using a plain brush and just dusting that off awesome next i'm going to use this my flat fluffy brush and I'm gonna use the shade cayenne right and I'm going to apply this on my inner crease These colors are so pretty, you guys. Like, they go on so softly, so pretty. And I'm just bringing this a little bit more up. I'm gonna go ahead and use my IBY crease brush. And I'm going to grab the shade Fuego. And I'm going to apply these colors on my outer corner of my eye and and kind of just soften it out, diffuse it. Same for the outer corner. Okay, next I'm going to grab my flat brush and it's a non-branded flat brush here and I'm grabbing the shade Scorch. I did spray my brush with setting spray and I'm just going to apply this on the middle area of my eyes. The glitter pigments are really soft and smooth. There is a little bit of fallout as you can tell here, but overall the colors are so pretty and so pigmented. I'm in love with them. Okay, I'm going to go again with the Enfuego shade. Same crease brush and just go over that. Just to blend those shades in. Just to make the color a little richer, I'm going to add the shade Ashes, which is this one right here, on my outer crease. 
And I'm just going over the shade in Fuego just to make it a little bit more intense. Next, I'm going to go over again with Soft. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more. And also with the shade Cayenne. What you want, you deserve it, yeah I might spend all my earnings For you mama, I'm yearning, yeah, yeah, yeah She asked me why don't you ever combine and buy Pop inside my whip and we can ride the shot Mama, you and I both been away for so long That when I'm with these other girls, it feels so wrong And when I'm on the road, driving through the night Girl, you gotta know, you stay on my mind Okay, now I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm gonna apply cayenne under my under eyes as well. And I'm going to grab ashes to make it a little bit more smokier. Now with my Beauty For Real black liner, I'm just going to shade in my eye and also my underwater line. Now I'm going to apply my Stephanie Falsies. These are my favorite. I've been using them for quite some time and they're so inexpensive. These I believe cost me $6. Yay, Stephanie! And I'm also gonna apply my favorite Tarte mascara on my under lashes. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off with applying my highlights. I'm like so extra with highlights, so don't mind me. And also some blush. When I find a better blush than the one that I always use on my videos, I'll go ahead and let you know. But for now, this one's still gonna be my favorite. It's actually Peach Twist by MAC. I already hit pen. It's time for a new one. I just love it though. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it again with my highlight brush just to diffuse so it doesn't look just like a line there. So for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use K by ColourPop. It's like an orange copper color. Super dark. And 
I'm so in love with their colors, but they're so dry. They crack once they dry. Okay, so this is the finished look with the naked heat palette overall i'm in love with this palette um the colors are everyday color shades like sauce low blow chaser cayenne and fuego those are shades that you can literally use every day especially for weddings these colors are so beautiful me as a makeup artist i don't like to carry large eyeshadow palettes so the size is very convenient for me for me it's going to be a thumbs up um let me know what you guys think of the urban decay heat palette if you guys like it you guys don't like it let me know comment below um but yeah that's my review for this eyeshadow palette i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on my next video let me know what you guys want to see um any other reviews on other makeup um any other challenges you guys want to see thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time on my next video.